Recently Yoast Artist Contingency Contract 10 for global servers with the release time frame of early February and there's a big problem with this. For explanation let's take a look at the CN server schedule between Lingering Echoes and CC10. They had 4 other events in between, Dorothy's Vision, To Be Continued, Dosoles Holiday Rerun and Ideal City. Two of those events introduced new operators plus modules and three had tiered module materials in the shop. They also had 5 reward periods in stationary security service until CC10. Now let's consider how it will play out in the global server. We already got lingering echoes and soon we'll have our third anniversary. That will most likely be ideal city. After this we might just have enough time for to be continued before CC. So we would miss out on Dorothy's vision with new operators and new modules as well as Dosoles rerun. Not only that, we will only be after 3 reward cycles for SSS. While we already had a case of a different operator roster for CC1 compared to CN during year 1 due to schedule changes, that gave us a unique experience for global servers. This however will be the first time when we are straight up worse off having less operators, less modules and module materials. It will have a negative impact on a significant amount of team compositions and high risks. Niches will be affected in particular. Specialist Knights will suffer from the lack of Dorothy. Sniper Knights will suffer from the lack of Marksman modules and most if not all niches will have less tiered modules to work with. I myself play Skate Knights which means operators drawn by Skate and so I'll miss out on Platinum module and also may end up not having enough module materials for all the operators I use for this niche which wouldn't have been a problem if the schedule was as it should be. Contingency contract is a time when people from all servers come together to push the boundaries of what's possible in the game and this move will hinder the ability to do this outside of the main server. It also sets a very bad precedent for what Yostar may do with the global schedule in the future. Will we also have less operators and modules for CC11 and CC12? We are already kept in the dark way more than the CN server when it comes to upcoming content news and now we will also be getting a worse experience on top of it. And even if you say that we shouldn't know about the upcoming content, that doesn't mean that Yostar should take advantage of it in such a bad way. This also shows just how questionable Yostar's way of handling the global schedule is. The time between CC5 and CC6 was very weird but at the very least we had plenty of time between the two CCs and got all the same events as CN in between. This time however not only it will be less than 2 months between CC9 and CC10 but we will also have way less tools for the latter. If CC10 was to come early March with Dorothy's vision and to be continued releasing in between it and Ideal City we would have the parity with the CN server in terms of operators and the modules. So the only real solution is for CC10 to come later. In the meantime the best we can do is to talk about the issue. If you agree with this video spread it around or just talk about the matter. Yostar and Hypergriff have to know that this is not the way. But of course make sure to be polite about it. That's all, see you next time.